Faces in the Water by Ranjit Lal deals with a very difficult subject, female infanticide. The terrifying reality of the subject alone might have been enough to crush one's expectations had it not been handled with the kind of dexterity that Lal brings to it. There is nothing heavy-handed or moralistic or even morbid about it. Instead, this is a book that draws you into the center of its dark heart with a vivid sense of character and predicament powered unbelievably enough by humor, proving, as very few recent books have done, that a difficult subject need not be difficult reading, especially when targeted at that most difficult of audiences, the young adult. Its protagonist, 15-year-old Gurmi, comes from a family that prides itself on having only sons. Sent off to spend one summer at the ancestral home on a farm outside Delhi, Gurmi dis discovers that the well he has so far known, only for its health-giving water, holds other, less salubrious secrets. Confronted by the faces in the water, Gurmi realizes the truth behind the family's unsullied record of male children and the crime they are collectively guilty of. What makes this book remarkable is the way it brings the reader, adult or young adult, into a universe that makes one cry, laugh, rage, storm, despair, rejoice. Convincingly surreal in places, effortlessly magical in others, faces in the water, looks the murder of girl children in the eye. And through the effervescence of its adolescent characters and the life-affirming warmth of their relationships makes us glad that we have looked to Ranjit.